Will it start? Episode one. Totally kidding. The old resto gen. I have not been in this truck or started this truck or tried to start this truck for a long time. I don't know how this is gonna go. It might not have anything in it, but we'll see. What? It's been sitting here for a month. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on LNP. So we are going to be reinstalling the wheels and tires that were on the OBS Ford because I said, you know, we'll put them on the OBS Ford because I'm going to get new ones for this truck, whatever. Well, long story, very, very short. I put them on the OBS because everybody was complaining about the forces and the winner ended up taking the forces anyway. So I get to put it back on this truck. I'm not saying I'm going to keep these on this truck for a long time because I do plan on getting a different setup for this with the six inch lift that we're putting on. But for now, I think it'll look a lot better than these stocks. And I kind of wouldn't mind trying to daily drive this truck a little bit, you know, since we haven't really been driving it in a while. So here are the wheels and tires that I originally bought specifically, oops, cat fell out, specifically for the resto gen. Let me show you these here. Right now I'm rolling on some stocks some stock fourth gen wheels and tires, and they're almost the exact same dimensions in terms of height, not necessarily width. These definitely have more offset. Um, but they're just a 16 by 10 Pro Comp wheel wrapped in a 33 by 1250 Nitto tire, and it's gonna look good. We're gonna get these bolted back on this truck and get that classy look back in action. Wheels and tires are swapped back over. This only one has uh, different lug nuts on it. All the other ones are spline drive. Don't even ask why. You know what, shoot, you're probably gonna ask why. Well, I actually was missing two of them and I wasn't just gonna do two of those style, then the rest spline drive, so I just did all of the same style on this wheel since I happen to have a brand new bag of those just conventional 19 mil style lug nuts, aftermarket lug nuts. Do not forget that you are running out of time to enter to win this truck. It ends on October 7th, which if you have not seen your calendar, this is extremely soon, under one week. You're running out of time. Grab those entries while you can. And entering is legit super easy. All you do is go to our website, lmpgear.com. You can buy anything like a hat, a hoodie, anything off the site, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered. I actually just wiped the truck down too, because conveniently, I don't know, you're not recommended to use rainwater, but it just poured rain for like five minutes, and so I just took the microfiber towel and wiped it all down. It actually looks really good. Now, I actually have not taken this truck on an actual legitimate drive, basically since we got it pretty well buttoned up, as in like we got seats and carpet and, you know, windshield replaced, all that other stuff, headliner in. We still need to do audio. We still got to get the column cover, lift kit, horsepower going on, a whole bunch of stuff still got to get done. This truck's not done yet, but it's buttoned up enough to where you could daily drive this if you wanted to right now. Except we still have not had the drive shaft looked at. The guy that I bought it off of said that it was in the process of failing, so he wouldn't recommend driving it a bunch until until you get the drive shaft uh, bearings or whatever you joins. I don't know. Something down there replaced so that when you're going over 55, you don't get a horrible vibration. But we did get the starter replaced, so now I don't think we're gonna have to worry about taking a hammer to beat the starter if the thing breaks down. We should be good to go. This thing started up every single time now, so let's go for a little drive around the block and actually drive this thing without having to stop halfway through and getting the thing basically hammered on the starter to get rolling again and then just rush back up. So let's see how this drive goes. And this is actually the first drive that I've done since we put the buckles in the truck. Last time I drove, we didn't have the buckles, so buckles do work. We got the buckles in the truck, we got the seats. Last time I bolted the seat on for a quick second, but it wasn't properly in place. And not only was it not properly in place, I didn't have carpet. The kill switch was like awkwardly dangling down by my pedals and a bunch of stuff was just kind of off. But now everything's like pretty well situated. The seat is adjustable. So anyways guys, let's get on the road. Now I wish I could share a better view with you, but I just don't have a cameraman with me right now. And not only that, I don't have a GoPro that works properly. So we're gonna have to do it like this for now. Hopefully the footage turns out decent. And we're off.
actually deer walking around out in the road down here. I've already seen two cross the road. Oh, second one just went in. I thought I saw a third one. Maybe I did. I don't know if they went into the corn or if they went into the beans, but the corn and beans kind of meet up in like the same spot. And I haven't really updated anybody in terms of on my Loud and Proud channel of Reagan and I's new property that we're buying. The hunting property project we are actually closing on in a couple days. So we actually have a closing date now, less than one week. Actually, I think it's on the last day of the Whistling Diesel First Shade giveaway. We technically sign on our hunting property. This is our first hunting property, project property that we are purchasing. Super excited about it. If you want to see all the information on that, what all we're going to do in terms of hunting for this season and then management starting late winter, early spring, all that kind of stuff, it's going to be a blast. We're going to do all kinds of stuff on that property. I'm just so stoked. So if you want to see all that, you should consider subscribing to our outdoors channel. Link is always in the description below. It's the Brotherhood Outdoors channel. You guys are going to like it if you're into hunting or outdoors at all. But yeah, truck's been driving good though. Um, I'm in fourth gear right now just because, you know, I don't really want to go that fast anyway, just because if the drive shaft is needing assistance, like I was told, uh, I don't really want to test those limits now that I'm about a mile away from the house. So I'm going to turn around up here and just head on back home. Well, on our way to the post office again loaded down with packages for you guys I, man i really love the way that first gen looks on those wheels and tires i'm really like i don't know i'm so torn on what to do with that truck like i called in to order a lift kit for it a handful of days ago and they said that it was going to be weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks before it could come in so i kind of held off for a minute but now i'm looking at it, i'm like man i just now i kind of want to like work on the under the hood factor before I get into suspension. And it's honestly not a horrible idea since the truck's lower to the ground right now and once you lift it, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Definitely still doable, just a complete pain in the butt. Keeping the VE pump on there, because I just paid $2,200 to get it rebuilt, what should we do under the hood of that truck so I can get started on that here soon? Well, we finally got the coil trays for Reagan's truck, so we're gonna be dropping these off so Devin can actually get going on uh, Rosine, the 24 valve Cummins here. And uh, we were just waiting on these, honestly. Kind of a bummer because we were looking forward to getting this thing done quick, but those weren't here, so that makes it kind of tough, especially when they were rotted out on the new axle that we got. So he's got to cut those out and put the new ones in. So um, that's what we're going to do right now is drop these off. Let me actually show them to you. So here is, here's the coil tray. It's very simple. I don't know exactly how you install them other than welding. That's supposedly what she needs. It says it's for 94 to 2002 Dodge Ram pickup truck. So let's hope that works because we need to get that thing back with a big old lift kit on it so that the wheels and tires will fit. <laughs> Update on the Whistling Diesel Dually. That truck, we should be picking it up actually tomorrow. According to my paint guy, he said that he had the cab corners and rockers all cut out and everything was all re-welded back in and all the paint was stripped and he sent me some pictures a handful of days ago of everything was stripped off all the ears he was repainting and it was looking pretty good pretty excited because he's doing quite a bit there's a few little extra things we're doing to the truck that i didn't tell you guys about some of them aren't going to be a surprise to some of you and to another portion of you you're going to be like the truck looks different than it did originally but that was a nice added small touch pretty excited about revealing it because i think it's going to be pretty sweet something i almost completely forgot about that we've got to do to this truck to be able to daily drive it again and that is wire up the rear turning signals so the truck is in pretty good operational state for the most part um that was kind of weird don't know what that was some kind of electrical issue apparently um but anyways the only thing that i've noticed is the turning signals work in the front, but they're not in the rear because I may have clipped the wiring when I took the bed off and put the new bed on, so I gotta re-wire that stuff together. That way it works. So yes, the taillights do not work on the truck. When I have the flashers on, neither of the rears are on, so it makes it kind of uh, unsafe, I guess you could say, on the road if nobody knows where you're turning. So take a look under here. Here's the wiring harness, it goes to right here. And that's where the wiring, I 
snipped it because, well, I really don't even remember why I did that because now I got to redo it. Now I get the joy of rewiring it back together. Just watching some free diesel here. Anyways, I got the tail lights all wired back up and then I put the plastic covering back on, just kind of zip tied them to keep them in place. And yeah, it's uh, it looks funny, but all the proper wiring's rewired back up to itself. It's not going anywhere. I think I fixed the tail lights. It should have been recording already. It is, but I think okay. I cut your head off. And this tailgate, perfect. It's like the only first time I've ever known that the tailgate works flawlessly. Huh. So go see if when I turn on my hazards. Yeah. Yep. Both of them? Both of them. Hey, look at that. I've got turning signals. <laughs> Babe, I can actually daily drive this truck now. Yeah. I mean, that looks kind of rough, but <laughs> people get over it. I'm so excited. I can actually daily drive this thing. <laughs> you need a license plate. It's overrated. The truck, I can actually register it soon, so I can actually make it street legal, road legal to drive it. Um, it's in, it's, guys, we're almost there. We're so close, we're so close to being able to actually daily drive this truck, and I can pretty much do that now, except for the fact that I don't have plates on it yet, but uh, other than that fact, it's pretty much good to go. I mean, it's pretty much in a state where if I wanted to, I could drive this truck right now, and I'm all good to go. So I want to thank everybody for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget that if you want to win the first gen, not this first gen, but the Whistling Diesel first gen, you're running out of time. It ends in a few days on October 7th at 11.59 p.m. The giveaway is over. All you have to do is go to the website and place an order. Every order is going to get cash today. And it's this simple. The name, phone number, and email you use when you place your order gets submitted for your entries, and it's that simple. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Hit that like, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.